How's your moisture barrier? Do you have dry skin, but it's also oily? Well, you don't have dry skin. Oily skin is oily and dry skin is dry and the two do not meet. But you could have dehydrated skin or something I do a few times a year, you've damaged your moisture barrier. We're gonna talk moisture barrier today and how to fix it. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle Spieler. I'm an over 25 year professional makeup artist. Um, I worked in Hollywood. I created the Mature Makeup Masterclass to help women over 40 with their navigating aging face and maturing skin. And I've done a series of over 20 videos on all different types of techniques and products to use, including skincare, including skin prep. I'm adding more this July, so get locked in now. The price is $67. It's going up to 97. Get locked in now because once you're locked in at that price, I can add videos this year, next year, always ongoing, and you're locked in at that price. I also have a new referral program. So once you're a student, if you send out your referral link, you get $10 for referring the class and your family and friends get 10% off the price of 67. But again, it's going up to 97 soon, so jump in. Okay, this is something I wanted to talk about because I cannot believe I did it to myself. I don't know if you remember a week before my surgery, I did some medical grade skincare and my face swole up or swelled up and I looked like I had bee stings all over my face. It's not that I had welts, it's just I was so swollen and my eyes were so swollen and I, I was like freaking out because my surgery was in a week. And it turns out I just had way too many actives on my face at one time and my skin just really freaked out and reacted and I had massive inflammation. So lesson learned, right? So cut to, I come home from the beach. I don't know if you heard me talk about it, but even though I had high SPF, it was gray weather. I had a sun hat on at all times. We sat under an umbrella. I literally never let the sun touch my face. I still came home with darker pigmentation and some splotchiness and all of my sunspots were darker. And I'm like, oh my gosh, how did that happen? I was so upset. And um, so I was advised to get off all retinol, any products with retinol, tretinol and retinol to hide, get off all of that for summer. It makes you photosensitive, which I knew, but then there are dermatologists that say, no, 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 stay on it year round. So you have to do what's best for you, but I'm gonna be pretty much off of it for summer. Um, and then I was taking some hydroquinone. I was doing the Muesli spot cream and the before and afters are so impressive but they just weren't working for me. If anything, all my spots got even darker. Then I went to the beach, they got even darker. And I'm like, I am done with this muesli spot cream. A lot of people said their um, sunspots got darker at first, but then started to fade. Again, the melasma, the sunspots, the before and afters are very impressive, but they just never faded for me. And again, my medical esthetician said, get off hydroquinone, don't go back on it till October. So I got off all of that and I said, but what do I do? You know, I'm really trying to lighten my sunspots. And she said, oh, there's this great serum. It's super expensive, but it really works. So I did my research, I read all the reviews, and everyone said, wow, is this impressive. This fades my sunspots even better than tretinoin, even better than hydroquinone. It does not make you photosensitive, so you can use it all summer. It is costly, but the one thing everyone had in common is they said it does make your skin dry. And I thought, no problem. I do juicy skincare, right? I'm not gonna have a problem with that. Well, unfortunately, I woke up the first day and I did vitamin C, which is an active. And then that night I did a little bit of um, a retinol, tretinoin, just a little bit in this one serum that she gave me. Then I did this new serum. So I'm doing this brand new serum with a little bit of retinol, tretinoin. I did vitamin C earlier in the day. The next day I woke up and I was a little pink it was just a little fleshy pink all through here, which is an indication it's probably a little strong for your skin, okay? 
I didn't think much of it. I thought I'm just going to push through it because that's how I am. I'm just going to push through it. Did it the whole routine the second day, woke up the third day, and my skin was dry, tight, and pebbly, scaly in some areas. My beautiful, bouncy, soft, hydrated texture was pebbly. Like, I'm talking like pig skin grain leather. It was not cute. And I was so upset because I was on my way to Palm Springs to work with Mob Beauty. I was meeting my friend Leah in person for the first time. And I just really wanted beautiful skin. That's what makes me feel really confident close up, right? And I just looked dry and pebbly and it was awful. And makeup doesn't look pretty on that. And it was just awful. So the one thing I knew is I, well, first of all, I reached out to my esthetician friend and she's like, just back off of everything. You probably use too many actives at once. And I'm like, oh, why don't I learn? Why don't I learn? So here is how to heal your moisture barrier. M moisture barrier damage is different for everyone, but basically our moisture barrier, when it's hydrated, we have this beautiful, glowy, bouncy skin, okay? I even had it before my face surgery, so it has nothing to do with the fact that my muscles are lifted. I had hydrated, bouncy skin, cushiony skin, really, um, really moist looking close up, just hydrated, okay? I don't know how else to say it. Very hydrated skin. It feels very cushiony to the touch. That's how you know you have a great moisture barrier. If you have dry little bumps or if you have little dry patches or you have tightness or you have any pink or redness or you don't have rosacea but all of a sudden you have some areas that are pink or red and you think, oh my gosh, am I getting rosacea? Or if you have pebbly textured skin, you've never had that before, boom, all signs that you have damaged your moisture barrier. Nothing to fear. It's super easy to correct, and that's why I wanted to do this video today. You're instantly going to get off all actives. Ditch the vitamin C for four to five days. Ditch all forms of retinoic acid. Nothing vitamin A derivative. No retinol, no retinaldehyde, no tretinoin, retin-A, all of it. You get it. Get off of all of that, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to take your makeup off at night if you even wear it with a beautiful cleansing oil or a cleansing balm and then your second step would be some kind of gentle cleanser and i mean gentle when you when your skin is rinsed your skin feels bouncy and pretty and not dry and tight okay that's how you know you have a gentle i love foaming cleansers but mine are always very very gentle nothing ever strips my skin after you cleanse, you are going to go right into some kind of serum that hydrates. So I used my snail mucin morning and night for four or five days. I washed my face. I went right in with this. While my face was still moist, damp, I went right in with this, okay, twice a day. Then I want you to use some kind of like juicy, hydrating um moisturizer. I was either using the Tatcha Dew Cream or this beautiful Isden Contour Cream, which is a really amazing uh, firming cream, okay? I did that. I waited for all of that to really absorb in. Now, I have two different things I used. The first night, I used the Kiehl's um, Ultra Facial Advanced Repair Barrier Cream. This is exactly what it says it is. This is to protect and restore your moisture barrier. So it's a great final step. It's kind of thick. You, it kind of takes some time to absorb in. I did that. The second day I woke up, I was still dry and pebbly. So I did the th same thing I just showed you. Did, you know, my Tatcha morning and night. But at night when I went to bed, I used Egyptian Magic Cream. This stuff is amazing. It has bee propolis in it. So if you are vegan, this is not for you. Um, you could just go to straight Aquaphor or Vaseline to lock in your face. But what this kind of stuff does, it's an occlusive. So is Vaseline, so is Aquaphor. What you're doing before you go to bed, and trust me, you're going to want to pin all your hair back. So I always sleep with like a little clip and all my hair around my face pinned up, okay? Because you are going to then coat your face with an occlusive. And it's almost like 
taking a piece of saran wrap and putting it on your face to lock in all your moisture because as we sleep, moisture is evaporated from our skin. So it's locking it in. Now, if you have oily or acneic skin, you do have to be really, really careful with occlusives because while they can lock in your moisture, which is good, they can also lock bacteria into your pores and you can wake up with pimples, acne, blackheads, whiteheads, all the things. So you do have to be careful with certain skin types. But for me, I can slather this on. This is a very healing um, balm. I don't know if you've ever heard of um, Egyptian Magic Cream. This was huge in the 2000s, like around 2007 to 2010. All of Hollywood was using this. Actresses were using this and we all got on board. But then I forgot about it, you know, because everything changes. But this has, um, oh gosh, can I even read what this has? It has... Well, you can read it if you go to um, Amazon, you you can read what's in it, but it's, it's pretty basic. There's not a lot of ingredients in it. I cannot read it. It's all too tiny, but it's a lot of like beeswax, bee propolis. Um, I don't know. It's, it's very healing. I'll show you. It's, it's kind of like. See, it's almost like a little bit see-through and it's kind of like a Vaseline, but a little bit more beneficial and healing. Like there's actually healing ingredients in it, but it looks just like a Vaseline, okay? I did that entire routine for five days straight. And when my skin felt really bouncy and cushiony again, then I started back on just vitamin C. Oh, and I did my Paula's Choice. You know, I love my BHA. It's not here, but it's in the bathroom. My BHA 2% Paula's Choice. I love that in the mornings, but I even cut that out for five days. Nothing that has acids or actives. So the first morning I woke up that I felt nice, I did the Paula's Choice 2% BHA. Um, then I went in with... Um, my vitamin C, let that kind of absorb in, still went in with my snail mucin. Then I did my daytime cream. This is the contour cream by Isden. I can put links for all this if you want it. This stuff, Isden's expensive. It's pharmaceutical grade. It's medical grade skincare. Isden is made in Spain. It is excellent quality, but it's pricey. And then um, SPF, as you know, this is my favorite one. It's almost out. My new one just arrived. I, th I This one I got for free and my new one I paid for. That's how much I love it. I love, love, love this. Um, so anyway, for five days, that's what I did. And when I went back to all this, I just incorporated the Paula's Choice BHA and um, the vitamin C. And then at night I stayed very simple. When my skin tolerated that, the second day I did again in the morning, the cleansing, the Paula's Choice 2% BHA, the vitamin C. And then at night I could do the tiniest bit of retinaldehyde, just the tiniest bit if I wanted, right? But right now I'm going to Nashville. So right now as you're watching this, I'm in Nashville with Mob Beauty. I'm at the National Makeup Show. It is a makeup show for professionals, but it is open to the public. And famous, famous makeup artists are there. And I will be on stage um, teaching complexion for Mob Beauty, but also I'll be at the Mob uh, beauty booth. So if you're anywhere near Nashville on June 24th, 25th, pop over and come on in and, and, and meet me um, at the Mob Beauty booth. I'll be there for two days helping them because remember I told you Mob Beauty is like my family. Saint is my number one. Saint is like my husband and Mob Beauty is my family. So I'm going to be there helping them and I'm really excited to do that. So I just wanted to talk about moisture barrier because last week mine was very compromised. I was very disappointed and I I could tell from comments some of you asked to learn more about moisture barrier. I do see a lot of people talking about it on TikTok. A common problem on TikTok, especially with younger people, is they want to try all the things. They want to try all the trends. They want to try all the products. And they end up really stripping their skin and damaging their moisture barrier. But 
gosh, our skin is a wondrous place and it really does build up and, and get beautiful. Again, that moisture barrier can bounce back very quickly in about four or five days, as long as you strip it of all actives, no actives, no acids, nothing, just gentle cleanse, moisture, lock it in with something that's like a barrier cream, just really lock it in and then you will be good as new. So this week, my skin is back to being beautiful. Very happy with it. Okay. I hope that helps everyone. I just wanted to expl explain um, the moisture barrier. I think a lot of people are perpetually walking around with the damaged moisture barrier and they don't even know it. And I know that they are because they'll come to me and say, oh, I took your Mature Makeup Masterclass. I watched the skincare video. I bought a lot of the products and oh my gosh, Wow, is my skin different? I hear this a lot. I hear people say, my skin looks completely different after watching the Mature Makeup Master Class. And it only took, you know, a couple months or three months or six months. And people are reversing a lot of damage by just using the right skincare. Isn't that amazing? Now we can't go back and like completely reverse the sun damage. We can do our best, but the best thing to protect our skin going forward is just a really good SPF. And one that you love is the best. I will have all these links in the description along with my uh, link to Mature Makeup Masterclass. I hope you feel like you learned something here today. Please don't beat yourself up. I have probably stripped my moisture barrier three times a year for years. I, I get so mad at myself. I'm like, oh, I'm like a dog returning to its vomit. I cannot believe I did this again. Listen, it happens to the best of us. We get a little excited. We get a little overzealous. It happens. But isn't it nice to know that our skin be, can be good as new? And as soon as four to five days, if we just like moisturize it and stay off of all actives, I find that fascinating. Okay, I hope that helps. Thank you for being here. I don't know what we'll do next Saturday. I'm trying to think. Um, next Saturday is, I think, July 1st, and I am going to a 4th of July big pool party, I think. I don't know, I'll have to think about it. What do you guys wanna see? Put it in comments. For now, I just want to say bye. I want to say God loves you. I want to say so do I. Um, I'm so glad you're here. You can always go to my website. I'm not super active there, but I'm going to start building it because I'm going to start doing a weekly newsletter in July. I'm super excited about it. So go to my website. I'll put it in the description. Subscribe and you will get latest and greatest news on just really great topics that I think will help the mature woman. And all you have to do is just click open an email and read it. I will not bombard you. It will not be more than once a week. I think it might go out on Sundays. Um, I don't know. You tell me, what day of the week do you like to read a newsletter? Sunday or should I do midweek? I'm not really sure. I'm really thinking about that. But um, yeah, go to my go to my website michellespieler.com and subscribe i would love to have you um around it would be so fun for me all right i think that's it do we have any other news no i don't think so okay <laughs> bye for now